Hello, welcome to this video guide to our institutional ebook platform, the Archeopress Digital Subscription Service, or ADS for short. My name's Patrick, and I'll be talking you through the basic functionality of the platform, how to log in, how to access content, and so on. There are currently just under 450 ebook titles included in ADS, with around 140 open access titles also accessible via the platform. On average, we publish 6 to 12 new titles each month, and these are immediately available to ADS subscribers. ADS is integrated into our main website, www.archeopress.com. What you can see now is the home page showing our newest titles with various navigation options around the page to delve into our content, searching by series or subject matter, or you can learn more about publishing with Archeopress, our history, and so on. Currently, without logging in, if we select a title and look at its main record page, you'll see it has various options to buy the book in print or digital formats for personal or institutional use. We're now going to log into the platform and we'll be able to bypass those purchase options and access the ebook content directly. So, I'll go back to the home page and we'll log in. Firstly, a note about the login options on the top bar. Login for private customers is a retail function. This allows regular customers to save their address details for faster checkout. If I click on Login Institutional Subscriptions, we'll see a message asking us to log in using our unique institutional URL or to contact our department or librarian if we're not sure what that is. Alternatively, we can contact a member of the Archeopress staff using the email info at archeopress.com. The library will usually have the URL recorded in the catalog system. So typically, we would follow a link from the catalog, but here I'm going to have to type in the URL for me to log in. The URL is unique to your institution, and the website uses IP authentication to grant access. This means you need to be on a network with an approved IP address, usually a library or institutional building, or sometimes via remote access, such as Easy Proxy. I'm going to log in now using my demo account. The website has recognized the URL and authenticated my IP address, and it's redirected me to the ads landing page. You'll see here it recognizes me as a user from the fictional Archeopress University. It gives a brief reminder of some of the core license terms and displays a link to complete the logging in process. Before we move forward, let's just have a look at what would happen if the website did not recognize your IP address. If you try to access the unique institutional URL from a non-approved IP address, you would be directed to this error screen. If that happens, please consult your librarian or contact us directly at info at and we'll try our best to help get you connected. Once the login process is complete, you'll be redirected to the home page. Only this time, you will only see content available to access via your subscription. If you have a subscription to one or two journals only, then the ebooks would disappear. Likewise, if you subscribe to ebooks, the journal content would be removed. The test account is for ebooks only. At a glance, the screen looks much the same as it did before, but you'll notice there is a new download icon by each book. When logged in, these Buy Now graphics should really disappear, so we'll patch that out in a future update. Apologies if this is confusing. The home page will always show the latest content. You can scroll down and it will auto-load more titles from the backlist. From this screen, there are lots of ways you can delve into the content that interests you. If you are looking for a particular book, for example, and you know the title or ISBN, you can use the search box. If you'd like to browse based on your research interests, you can navigate our category structure here. We have three main ways of subdividing content by era, location, or disciplines within archaeology. Books may of course appear under multiple categories. For this demo, let's look at something quite broad. I'm going to look at titles that relate in some way to the Middle Ages. Now, let's look at accessing an ebook. Let's select a title and look at its record page. 
Now, you can see that those buy buttons we saw before have been replaced by the option to download PDF. Performance here varies by operating system or OS, your browser, and your personal settings. But typically, clicking this link will open the PDF in a new window. Again, some of the functionality here will vary depending on OS and browser software, but you can see here I'm able to navigate using bookmarks, going straight to the contents page. From here, I can click on a chapter title to take me to the section I'm interested in, or I can do much the same via the bookmarks. There are no limits to how many concurrent users can access an ebook at any time, so you'll never encounter an issue with ads that someone else has checked out the resource you need. As well as accessing the content online, you can also download the PDF for offline use on your local device. If you want to exit ads to see any of our content that you are not currently subscribed to, or perhaps because you want to order a print copy, etc., simply go back to the home page. and click on the link found above the first row of books. This will log you out of ads and clicking home page will take you back to the main home page of the Archaea Press website. As well as the general URL that allows you to log in and takes you directly to the home page, there is also a unique URL for each title that should be recorded in the library catalogue. Clicking this link should perform the same login stages as before, but instead of taking you to the home page, it gives you the option to go directly to the title you want. Once here, if you wish to navigate the rest of the account, you can do so much the same as if you'd used the general institutional URL. I hope this overview of ads will be useful for existing subscribers. If you have any comments or queries, please do send them in to me at info at archaeopress.com. We're actively developing the platform, so all comments are really interesting to hear, so please do get in touch. Likewise, if you're interested in knowing more about the subscription package, please get in touch. We're very happy to organise a free of charge, no obligation 30-day trial for libraries, institutions or commercial units. This has been an introduction and overview of our ebook platform, the Archaeopress Digital Subscription Service, or ADS. Many thanks for watching.